Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleak channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So you've reached one of the Camping Edition videos. So on this video, I've got the Duracell Power Source. Now this is one of these giant batteries that can be charged off of AC power. This can also be charged off of solar. So check out my other video right here for that one. This is going to be a review video. I'm going to go over all the positive aspects of this thing, all the negative aspects of it. There's a link in the description where you can pick this thing up. Be sure and like and subscribe to the channel and let's get to the video. All right, so this one is the Duracell Power Source. They call it the 1440 watt. Now there's not a lot of difference between the 1440 and the uh, 660 I believe other than the wattage that it's putting out. The time to cover the specs on this Duracell power source. It's got about a 10 hour recharge time. That's both AC and solar so you're looking about 10 hours. This is about a 60 pound battery unit. So this thing's dimensions are probably about 24 inches in length, about a foot tall and about 8 inches width. This is a sealed lead acid battery. All right, this does come with two USB ports. It comes with four standard household outlets on the front of the unit. It comes with one 12 volt DC outlet on the front of the unit. All right, you guys, so the front of this Duracell power source unit has a little LCD display, which will tell you how much charge time you have left, along with how much battery power you have left. So very handy, very helpful. Right on the back of the unit, there is a uh, Anderson connectors along with a solar controller built into the unit. Also on the back of the unit, there are some terminals to connect additional batteries or additional Duracell units. This unit has the built-in instant on UPS feature as well, so uninterrupted power. All right, you guys, let's just take a closer look at the Duracell power source unit here. So there's your four AC outlets right there. There's your two USB. There's your 12 volt right there. You can see right now it is currently charging and it's got a little picture of a solar panel and you can see the little battery shows that it's probably about a quarter charged right now. And I did hook it up to a solar panel just to demonstrate one of my favorite features about this. On top of the unit they have just a little cover right here. Just a little cord storage. On the back of the unit is where your solar charger is found in your AC input. And you have these two additional expansion terminals where you can daisy chain additional Duracell units on or uh, lead acid battery units. Alright everyone, let's begin the positive aspects of this unit and what I like about it. So positive number one is there's no mess. It's all a sealed unit, so unlike a gas powered generator or even a propane generator, there just is not any mess associated with it. It's all in a sealed encased unit and there's no oil, there's no gasoline, and there's no mess or anything to have to deal with. So I love that fact. So going along with that first one is uh, it's safe for indoor use. You can bring it into your cabin, into your house, whatever, and just set it up and use the thing. All right, you guys, so another big obvious positive besides recharging this off of AC power or running it off a generator here at the cabin like I had done at first, you can plug this into a solar panel, which is awesome. So it's got the Anderson connectors on the back of here. Plug that thing into a solar panel and just recharge it for free off of the sun, which is awesome. Huge positive right there. All right, you guys, so I brought out the solar panel and hooked it up to this Duracell power source unit just to quickly demonstrate that it is charging up this unit, even with the sun behind the clouds. Um, that, like I say, is probably my very favorite benefit or favorite feature about this whole unit is that you can literally just charge this off of solar um, if you don't have regular running electricity at your location or if you just have a generator. All right, you guys, so another big positive is you've got your LCD display, which tells you how much charging time you have left, and it also tells you how much battery life you have left on the unit, along with your USB ports built right into it, so you don't have to plug in the adapter and then plug in your USB units. So love that feature right there. 
So another big positive is this runs silent. There's no fan running. There's no noise from it, uh, anything like that going on. It's very quiet. So huge positive as opposed to my fuel power generators that I used to have to run here to power the cabin. All right, so two more positives is this thing is portable. You can pick it up, put it in your vehicle, take it camping with you. Uh, take it to wherever if you got some party going on out in the middle of nowhere haul it away with you um, It's also expandable you can connect another battery unit up to this another Duracell or just another battery lead acid battery So that's another big feature right there All right, so let's start the negatives about this Duracell power source unit so the first negative is this thing weighs almost 60 pounds. This thing is very heavy so Duracell, if you're listening, just a suggestion here, put some like luggage wheels on this thing and one of those like little luggage cart things so you can just like haul this around like a piece of luggage. I mean, that, how cool would that be? Just a little like luggage retractable thing and some luggage wheels and just like roll this baby around. That would be awesome. I mean, come on. All right, so another drawback you guys is the price. This thing is not cheap. It is around $600 or so at Costco online, depending on where you find it. I've seen it a little bit more. Um, rarely do I find it less than that, but yeah, not a cheap unit. Is it worth it? Oh yeah, uh, versus getting up in the middle of the night and go firing up a generator and then having to listen to said generator totally worth it nice and quiet you have electricity yeah so just the peace and quiet factor not having to go outside in the rain or whatever and start some generator and deal with the oil and the gas and all that good stuff totally worth the 600 bucks so no brainer but yeah hella expensive all right so kind of leading into that last negative our other negative is this is a lead acid battery for around $600. I mean, seriously, in 2021, we can't go lithium ion in this unit. We're still dealing in lead acid. Seriously, just saying. Hey guys, I hope this video is really helpful for you. Be sure and check out these other awesome videos right here. Like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you later.